We'll start first with Megan Triplett. Dylan, congrats on the win. I got to ask you, you know, we heard you say that you're eating a Philly cheesesteak after getting your first one in Philly. The big question that everybody wants to know in Philly is how do you eat your Philly cheesesteak? What do you put on it? I couldn't even get one because everyone ate it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, they got chicken there and I don't know that. I'm not doing that. So, but I do break it in half and I put ketchup on it with the cheese with some peppers and then the rest is history. Drew Hill. Uh, I now have to follow that up for sure. If you are the leading scorer on the team, you would think that you would be able to, you know, get first dibs on the cheesesteaks, right? Is, is there, I mean, how disappointed is that? I'm disappointed. You know, I guess I got to shower quickly, you know, and get to their cheesecake, cheesesteak first. But I probably just eat a peanut butter and jelly or something. Sean Coleman. So Dylan, I got to follow that up and ask what you said that you love to travel the Philly cheesesteaks when it comes to traveling away from Memphis. What are your favorite delicacies when you travel around the NBA? Do you have some favorite spots or favorite cities that you like to go to because of a specific food that they have? Um, well, in Phoenix, I like uh, Toco, Toca, a place called Toca Monero or something like that. It's like Mexican food. They got like this uh, Japanese Wagyu is like my favorite. A5, good piece of, you know, uh, meat that's cooked well. Less, I think it's less fat or more fat. I'm not entirely sure, but it's sweet though. Evan, yeah. Evan Barnes. No cheesecake question for me, or cheesecake question, not cheesecake, sorry, Dylan. Um, but quickly, th the last few games, you guys have really been, you know, enjoying the three-point line playing well on defense. What's What's been the kind of the move these last few games where everything just seems to be working on both of those fronts, defensively and shooting more three-pointers? Um, It's a good vibe. Um, You know, we, we're starting to, you know, really play with our game plan, you know, shoot threes or get to our floater. Um, we're finding each other. We're playing unselfishly. Um, and then, you know, we're helping each other on defense, you know, with our communication, um, you know, our attention to detail. So, uh, you know, those are the three things that, you know, I think that, you know, are helping us, you know, tremendously. Terry Davis. Hey, DB, man, like you having fun out there. When you got fouled on that, that three-pointer, you showed emotion. So how much fun have you been out here having lately? I've been having some fun. Uh, you know, sometimes you guys see me, you know, with a, with a snarl on my face. But, you know, I'm just thinking the game. I'm trying to, you know, make myself better so my teammates can be better. Um, and, you know, I analyze every game. I don't like losing, you know, because, you know, my first two years, we lost a lot, you know, to get the players that we that we have now. So, um, you know, I hate losing. And, uh, you know, I just want us to keep winning and, um, you know, showcase our talent, showcase, you know, how great we play with each other, um, how, you know, we stay together on every single, you know, possession and, you know, play hard as hell, so. Final question, Kelsey Wright Johnson. Dylan, I'm going to follow up with that. Then you mentioned having fun and obviously having fun with your teammates, showcasing you guys' talent. How much of that is translating to the success that you guys have had in the last few games? Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. It's, uh, it's translating a lot. Um, you know, we, uh, we, we, we fire in all cylinders. You know, guys get to, get to feel the ball, you know, get a touch, you know, play their game. Um, you know, that comes from, you know, JV and X setting screens and getting each other open. And it comes from, you know, talking on defense, you know, when we need to, uh, like I said before, attention to detail on scouting report, uh, knowing who you're guarding, and then, you know, our coverages and all of that, you know, all those little things could pile up into, you know, games that, you know, we win and we're able to get out in transition and have, you know, play one of those fun games, so. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks. We will have Grayson Allen in just a moment.